a caching system basically makes use of technology that stores part of your code or your content in memory. An example of where this could be used is for a newspaper website or a news magazine website. The home page may not change for every couple of minutes, yet you can have a hundred, five hundred, a thousand, thousands of users coming to that home page within that time. It makes no sense or it's suboptimal to have to, for every time a user comes to the home page, to have to go to the database to pull what's the latest news, where's the picture, where's the content, who is the author. What you can do instead is store that in your cache. And once there's an update of that content, you just simply update the cache. Every user who comes to the site at that point in time gets served content from that cache. And there are several tools that you can use to enable caching on your service. The first I'd recommend for those of us who use Apache is Memcached. Memcached is fantastic because it runs extremely fast. You see on line four, I'm declaring an instance of the Memcached class. And if you're using Google App Engine like I usually do, um, you don't need to have line eight, which is the part that connects to the memcache server. That already happens instantly and automatically on Google App Engine. Or if you're not using Google App Engine, you need to run that line there. Let's assume this is a fictitious days of week site, days of the week website. And what I'm doing here on line 10 is checking if it's already memcache, the days of the week. And if I don't get a result, as seen in line 11, I then run my series of logic, pull information, process the data from the database to get the deals of the week. And after I do that, I store it in memcache. And then I can now display the results of that call in my browser. Now, how do I set up memcache? It's simple. If you're using Google App Engine, there's no need to install it. It's already there. If you're using a VPS, a private server, in the cloud, wherever, right, then you should go to memcached.org to follow the instructions on how to download and install memcached. The third, what I find is the most important thing, is testing. Testing with virtual users. Testing to simulate what would happen if a thousand users were accessing your website or app at the same time, 10,000 users accessing your app at the same time, or be the experience like if you had 100,000 users accessing your application at the same time, what would happen? And where are the bottlenecks in your application? When you have just 10 users or 100 users, it may not be so obvious where the constraints or where the limits or the bottlenecks are. Since it's going to be a little difficult to sort of have a thousand people in one room testing your app, what you can do is to simulate a thousand users on your app at the same time by using tools specifically created for testing web apps. An example of that I would recommend is JMeter. JMeter is an open source application that enables you to test out your applications. You can set it up to test with 1,000 users, 100,000 people if that's what you want. There's really no limits what you can use JMeter to do to test your web app. And you can then profile it to see exactly how that app performs under these different amounts of traffic. I have mentioned three key things that you can do to help ensure that your app scales. The first was key mechanism. The second was caching mechanisms. And the third is testing your system. You should check out the links in the description to access even more content on how you can help your app to scale and sample code that we wrote during this session.